Well, CEQA is just one of the major environmental policy challenges Governor Brown is wrangling these days. During his trade mission to China, he also worked to get that country on board with fighting climate change. No easy task since China reportedly emits more carbon than any other nation. The U.S. is a close second. Our report tonight comes from John Myers, political editor for KXTV News 10. Jerry Brown is a governor who no longer seems to yearn for a national stage, but his nine-day visit to China made it clear Brown has been keeping an eye on the bigger picture. We're in one world, we've got one big problem, and we all have to work on it. That problem, he said, is damage to the environment, both long-term and immediate. Nowhere is it more pressing than in China. In city after city, California's trade delegation saw firsthand an air pollution problem that invokes images of Los Angeles in the 1960s and 70s. Here, it seems, wearing a mask outdoors is almost becoming a fashion statement. And global wind patterns make this kind of pollution not just a threat to the Chinese. When you think about it, the air pollution in China, where does it go? You know, in California, you know, we feel the impact of it eventually, right? So it's, I, I think there are opportunities for both sides to collaborate. In meetings with Chinese officials, the governor and his top advisors found a lot of interest in what works in California, from tailpipe exhaust laws to the powers given to local air quality districts. They know our programs very well. They've obviously been studying um, the various options they have to deal with their pollution problems here. That may help explain the agreements on this visit that the Brown administration signed with Chinese officials. Four agreements in all with environmental cooperation, the focus of an event at Beijing's Tsinghua University. China and the U.S. and the largest economic bodies, the largest energy consumers, the largest coal consumers, the largest oil consumers, and the largest CO2 emitters. So we have a lot of opportunities in the future. China's challenges aren't a lack of political energy as much as they are the source of its physical energy, coal. Railroad cars full of coal like these in the city of Nanjing in eastern China are needed every day to fuel the power plants all over the country. An international study finds China burns more coal than the rest of the world combined. A major reason the country is the largest source of greenhouse gases from carbon. Which gets us back to Jerry Brown and California's ambitious efforts to fight climate change, efforts that may be all for nothing without change in China. No one group can solve the problem. Not the United States, not California, not Japan, not China. We all have to do it. The governor and his advisors spent months negotiating the details of the economic and environmental agreements he signed on this trade mission. International groups praised the pact for going beyond just standard language. The agreement signed with Guangdong in particular gives some environmental groups an ongoing role to monitor climate change progress and help keep Chinese efforts pointed in the right direction. The whole opportunity here is cooperation. It's being able to exchange information, exchange investment, exchange uh, opportunities that otherwise wouldn't exist. The governor's trade mission also found opportunity for the issue of climate change to boost its other big objective, help for California's economy. In the last seven years, China has become a powerhouse in the business of climate-friendly technology. But for all its innovation, the country has a huge demand for even more. That's the question that we get asked very often is tell us about what are people doing in the U.S.? What are the technologies? Can you help bring some of those to China? And that, say California entrepreneurs, is where this trade mission presents enormous opportunity. Every ton of garbage creates a ton of greenhouse gas going up into the atmosphere. We can take that and turn it to clean energy. Businessman Mike Hart from Davis came on this trade mission in search of investors. His company, Sierra Energy, turns solid waste into gas and ultimately electricity. He says the company can turn a ton of garbage into 1,600 kilowatts of power. Our expectation is we will have at least one significant Chinese partner as a result of this trip. And that could result in several hundred million dollars worth of new construction projects. Looks good. California also stands to benefit from Chinese technical expertise. The country is a leading source of electric car batteries. Watch out, I'm going to start it. Governor Brown, who toured one Chinese battery and electric car company in Shenzhen, says California's goal of a million electric cars by 2025 won't happen without China. In an interview at the end of the trade mission, Brown said China shows a lot more promise for working with California than does Washington. Well, I find them a lot more uh, advanced than our United States Congress. I mean, they're just mired in uh, mythology and 
uh, primitive thinking when it comes to climate change. With that kind of power, so dedicated against renewable energy, there can be virtually no progress. And progress is what Brown says he saw all over China since his first trip there in 1986. Critics at home say the governor ignored talking about many of China's problems. Brown counters by saying he was simply there to begin a dialogue. And if California can have that dialogue, it would seem everyone might win. That was John Myers reporting for KQED and KXTV News 10.